Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Here's how Scotland will line up. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape. But if they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the fullbacks can push on. Let's hope they do that today. And the match is underway. Harrison Rachel McLaughlin well that's how to keep the opposition at bay might be able to get in behind the defence that's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make Abigail Harrison and players waiting in the centre. Can she put it away? Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Now sending it in, relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Firing it towards goal, and a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Now can they make something happen? Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Weir. Teammates available. 
And failure to keep the ball by Scotland. Brignard's dot here. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Abigail Harrison. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, possibilities inside the box. And an astute piece of defending. Well, inching towards half-time, and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, still an issue here. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Beautiful pass. And very deftly cut out. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Really good interception. Graham. Scotland losing possession. This attack looks highly promising. A chance to whip it in. Now too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Brignard's dot here. Now options are plenty. Well, under pressure, but that doesn't bother her. Well, sometimes it works out for you, but that was a wretched piece of finishing. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Aaron Cuthbert. Is she going to score? Now the keeper grabs it. On the ball, Jensen. Now can they create something? And lining it up. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with.
Magnificent defending. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Cleland. Really vital interception here. Plenty of support here. It's with Jensen. Making sure nothing came of it. Abigail Harrison. Lucy Graham. And the pass was off target. It'll be a throw. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. They're really pressing their opponents. And Jensen with it. And after the cross, a tremendous block. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. And the match is underway. Can she put it away?